Well, here we go again. Winter is back to the mountain. <laughs> Unbelievable. It was 25 degrees this morning when we got up. Uh, the temps come up a little bit, but so is the wind. And it feels like it's in the teens. So I went down to the greenhouse and got a fire going this morning. And everything's looking good in there. Put up a couple of raised beds and hoops there the other week. Planted a few things in there. Uh, kind of second guessing that move, but I don't know. We'll go take a look what's going on in there. I don't want to open it up for very long. But it's clearing up a little bit. The sun's coming out, so maybe the temps will come up. I really don't know what to expect when I look in here. I almost don't want to look in this. Okay, let's go. Well, they're looking okay. That one looks like it's been hit with the cold. Got some yellow and turning white, but... And the other one way down there, but I guess all in all, I can't complain about that. Get this closed back up. Well, we were on the fence about putting stuff out here with the weather so questionable, but it was getting overcrowded in the greenhouse, so we took a chance, all right? Hopefully they do all right. I just started to put in some of the fence posts yesterday. Uh, I gotta get a little bit creative on this maneuver. So I dug down to the ledge, cleaned off the ledge as good as possible, even scrubbed it with a brush. I set a uh, sauna tube and poured it right on the ledge so at least I have something for these posts to sit in because otherwise there's no way to stabilize them. I wasn't sure what to do with fence here. We have to fence it because a moose could wipe us out in one night and you know they're going to be in the yard. So I've got ledge. I can't pound in a stake so I'm gonna I'm hoping this will work. Well, good morning, folks. Hey, I want to apologize for my absence here lately. Uh, I've been filming stuff and working on videos a little at a time, but I got a surgery date for June 10th, and I have a pre-op appointment on the 27th here of May, which is in just a couple of days. And uh, once I have the surgery, I'm going to be down and out for quite a while. All right, so um, I'm getting as much done as possible while I can. So we have been busy, busy, busy. We've had a lot of nice weather and taken advantage of it. We have a lot that needs to be accomplished before I have my surgery. Yeah, so when the sun is shining, I just can't sit in the house in front of the computer. <laughs> as much as I have wanted to get a video out, um, I had other priorities. Top priority is getting all the heavy work done. Getting the garden in, getting it fenced. Um, it's been a big process. Starting a new garden is always a lot of work. Well, we're starting a big garden and, you know, we have moose to come in the yard and bunnies and bears and other things. So we have to get it fenced and try, you can't just go outside and pound in a tee post. We, you start pounding it, you hit ledge right away. So the whole process has been a lot of work. We've been busy, 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 but we have gotten a ton accomplished and filming in the process. So uh, today I'm taking some time to rest a little bit. Uh, rest, but I'm going to be sitting in front of the computer working. <laughs> anyway. So I want to get a little update out to you folks because a lot of people have been worried about us. Uh, they haven't heard from us, uh, wondering if we ended up getting the virus. Uh, some people thought I was already having my surgery. So I want to give you a little update, show you what we have been doing, and you'll understand why I haven't been inside making videos. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, I'm working on the electric fence project here. It's going pretty slow because of what I have to deal with. Uh, I'm hoping that I have it done in time. It's kind of a game of beat the clock, or should I say, beat the bear. <laughs> look, look at this. Greenhouse is right here. The bear's wandering around. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. He's got a pretty good sized paw. <laughs> See the claws right there? See the claws? Yeah. He walked out here where I'm working. This is where I'm setting up the garden area. More tracks over here. I was just digging in here two days ago. See his tracks. Right, right there. You know, every human being makes trash. You know, you have trash. So we keep it as secure as possible. Now he seems to be working to get into it. He got into it the other day and dragged the bags off into the woods. I had to go and find them. Actually, there's a bear track right at my feet right here. I can see he's wandering all around the yard, but what really concerns me is he's walking all over uh, the perimeter of the greenhouse. But right along the side of my ditch where I put in my piers, he's walking right here. He's window shopping. Eh? He gets in there and destroys our crop, I'm going to be furious. Gardening on the side of a mountain can certainly be challenging. With sloping terrain and granite ledge just beneath the surface, tilling into the existing soil just isn't an option for us. We'll have to build a garden upwards instead. Doing so will create a level plane which will offer better water retention and make sufficient depth for healthy root generation. These boulders should be just a ticket for holding that soil back. And lucky for us, here in the Granite State, there's no shortage of them. And this little coyote tractor does a fine job of putting them into place. Now just because we live way out in the woods doesn't mean everything should be left looking like bug tussle. <laughs> no, sir. We'll keep it pleasing to the eye. Nice and straight. Just like that. When I started digging to set the piers for the workshop in Greenhouse, I found I was digging into some beautiful rich soil. Soil that was too good to waste beneath the building. I replaced it with gravel and stockpiled this beautiful black gold for later use. And we're using it now. This is centuries of decomposed forest matter, rich in nutrients, and it should serve us well. What I'm doing is I'm cleaning off the ledge and then I pour a pier on top of the ledge and put my T-post in the concrete. I don't know what else to do. Now simply pounding the T-post into the ground would have saved us a lot of time and effort. What should have taken us a day to complete nearly took us a week. But when you're living on a rock, you gotta work with what you've got. The ledge is never nice and flat. <laughs> so I gotta work with what I have, man. Mom's got a good start on her flower garden here. So this is one of the petunias that has opened up. So a bunch of other little buds there. This is one of the marigolds. I've always liked them, real pretty flowers on them. 
And then she has some of the giant marigolds over here. Here, that one got nipped by the cold, so it's kind of struggling. But we have others that are gonna do well. Some more here, very pretty. This is some of the zinnias. There's another nice velvety looking petunia there. And these are morning glories that we started. And they're gonna grow up the pole here. I've always loved the look of morning glories. There's another petunia there. Real pretty flowers. These are some of the zinnias that we planted. Remember when I was showing you they were about this tall, tiny little seedlings in the cups? Well, look at them now, huh? There's another one that's gonna open some here. Yeah, look good. Now these azaleas here, we bought these. We saw them at the store for $10.99. Couldn't pass them up. So we put one there and then another of the same variety here. And then a lighter colored one over there. And that one's starting to fade a little bit. This is the first time that we've ever started flowers from seed. And I got to tell you, we're going to do more of it. Very rewarding. We like having flowers around. They beautify the place but they also attract hummingbirds and we really like to have the hummingbirds around. Attract more bees to the garden too, which is a good thing. Yeah, and the success that we are having with them is just fantastic. Nice splash of color in the yard, looks really good. And there's the guardian of the garden right there. <laughs> So let me show you the garden. All right, we got a bunch of stuff here that still has to get planted and we're giving some stuff away. But remember this area here when I was putting in these stones, this was nothing but soup. Huh? The mud out here was incredible. Look at it now. It's nice and dry. I got my ditches in. I got a ditch here. I got one on the upper side of the driveway going down, diverting the water. And this is all dried out nicely, as you can see. Gardens are planted. They've been mulched on top to retain the water. They look great. Oh, it's come a long way from the last time I showed you, huh, folks? You know, we're gardening on a slope, so we have to utilize the terrain and work with the terrain the best that we can. So um, you saw me building that wall with the tractor when I was working out here in the mud. And we got that area flattened out and we get some raised beds and then some other raised beds and then drops down. We've got a nice collection of different styles of beds and we're not finished yet. I still have a lot of beds to build and put in here. I'm gonna be like a barrel ring bed in there. I still have to finish my little retaining wall here. And then when I'm done, I'll pick up all my stones and we'll put some barrel rings in here and then a bunch in here. <laughs> Yeah, during that cold snap, this spring holding the door closed broke and I came out here in the morning and that was wide open. Huh. We had about five days there where it was in the 20s at night, uh, 24 degrees, 25 degrees. So right here and on this shelf here, uh, we had a bunch of flats of our tomato plants and they turned all crappy. Yeah, the ones that were right in front of the door got hit by the cold, took a turn for the worst, all right? That was a wicked bummer because they were looking so good the last time I showed you. Ah, a lot of them turned yellow and white. You can see where they got nipped, but they're coming around. We've got them planted, so you can see we're getting some new green growth. They're starting to green up now. That one's looking pretty decent. That one's looking good. You can see here the difference. These were near the door, right? Yeah, you can imagine how we felt when we saw that. But they're coming into it. It didn't kill them. It's just kind of a setback, that's all. So when you look over the garden, you see a lot of yellow stuff. I mean, we put it out there. We know that they will bounce back, all right? In here, they're getting manure and good compost and a lot of nutrients and a lot of sun. They're stretching their legs. They'll be fine. The rest of the stuff in here is doing pretty good. Yeah, we got some zucchinis here that we're just going to let sprawl around. That's just an experiment, you know. 
these tomatoes are doing good they've been blossoming here yeah the greens are doing good like I said before this whole greenhouse thing is new to us it's all an experiment so we take a few chances we try new things see what we can get away with because just going to YouTube and seeing what other people have done not everybody's situation is the same now here it was the third week of May and we were getting temperatures in the 20s yesterday morning it was 37 degrees outside in the morning you know. so what works for one person doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for another so you take uh, some chances and try new things and see what works for you and that's what we're doing. We're going to win some and lose some in the process. And I'm fine with that. I guess you can see why I haven't had any time for sitting in the house editing videos. <laughs> we got a lot accomplished in a short amount of time. I'm very happy with what we've done. We have a lot more to do, but as long as the weather holds, I'm pretty certain we're going to get it done. Yep. I mean... You saw the muddy mess that we had here, okay? We got the retaining walls done, the garden area prepped, the garden planted, the fence put up. Now, I still have more beds to build, more plants to put in the ground, and I want to run a strand of, or two of electric fence over the top. I had planned on doing strictly electric fence, but then thought differently because of the dogs. I thought, well, um, this would be a better route to take. The only problem is because we can't simply drive T-post into the ground, uh, that the ledge being there really caused a dilemma for us. Now, it probably would have been wise to take the time to drill the ledge and pin everything, but I don't have the equipment for that. And like I said, we are under the crunch and I don't have a lot of time. So we did what we could. All right, and we're going to hope for the best. I just can't make the fence as straight as I'd like to because I fear that too much tension is just going to pull all of those T-posts out of plumb and may even ruin some of the fencing. So, like I said, we did the best that we could, and so far, so good. Yeah. So, I'm going to get some electric fence stuff and get a strand or two over the top that way when... Mr. or Mrs. Moose comes to check out the garden and they lean over the fence, they're going to get a little zap. Yeah. Hopefully that'll save us. All right. So I'm going to get back to work this week, get the rest of the stuff done, and bring you another update as soon as possible. And I have a lot of footage uh, that I've stockpiled, and I can edit videos during my recovery time. So we'll see how the operation goes and take it from there. So I want to wish you and your family the best. I hope you're all staying safe through these troubled times. All the best to you and God bless. Frankie and the boss out walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go There's a pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss